Yeah. How, how difficult is it to create good music for a show that's purposely trying to feel odd and experimental? And like, for example, the Matt, you have that dream cue. Yeah, this is choir and crickets. Choir and crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This was a very interesting one to, to do and why I ended up doing it. Well, now you have to tell the story. <laughs> so this, this is the, a, a track from season one. Yep. And originally what happened was Noah called me and he said, so in this episode, and I was like, I know exactly what you're going to say because we were talking, we were already talking about that particular episode. And I said, so when, when Sid puts on these headphones and she's transported into being asleep, I, we need something that feels like she's sort of drifting off into into sleep. And one of the things that starts it off, he, say, he, he said, so it starts out, you hear the crickets outside and that's sort of, then she puts these on and then I need a piece of music that goes um, into into like a dream thing. And he was like, well, you know, what if you tried some voice, something with voices? And I was like, you know, that's not a bad idea, but what if I were to incorporate the sound of the crickets? And if you if you make the sound of the crickets, all of a sudden become a part of the piece of music, that's what happens. It happens to me. So if I'm listening to music as I fall asleep, a lot of times the music joins me in a dream. Mm. And so the thing that you're hearing, or not even music, whatever you're hearing, like if you hear a knocking, like all of a sudden you might be dreaming of somebody hitting something with a hammer yeah. or something like that. So what I did was I went and I recorded a bunch of crickets um, and then I put it in my, my workstation and I just started editing them and I finally got them in time. <laughs> Three. So you could get them in time, bap, 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 and that's that's mm-hmm. what that's what happens. So it, it becomes sort of dreamlike. So it all starts like completely out of time, and then it all sort of comes together. And then as as it becomes in time, you start hearing the voice. So glad you said it starts out of time because when I heard the cue just now, I thought, wait, where's one? One, two, uh-uh. three. Nope. Hang on. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how you three, count it? One, two, three. Are these crickets one, unionized two. now? Did, did we have to, are they getting Luck, royalties? Very luckily, <laughs> right. there is no crickets union. Yet. <laughs> but right after this episode. They just got a huge gig. They're doing the new, uh, <laughs> the new Hans Zimmer score. The new Hans Zimmer score, yeah. Actually, speaking I of know. Hans Zimmer, there is a story that Hans once stumped for a cue, listened to the rhythm of, do you know the story? The mm. rhythm of the windshield wiper Oh, in a car he was in. Mm-hmm. And it was it was in three, and it was, shh, go on, go on, shh, go on, go on. And that became, you know, I did not, Rain Man or I, whatever I it was. I will say, I did not know that. I did not know that, but I did exactly the same thing in season two of Fargo, um, or I'm sorry, in season three of Fargo, where the entire the entire uh, storyline uh, revolves around the two brothers, one of which owns a parking lot empire. So there was a car I- I element, and I used that in the score. I used the sound of wipers as a percussive element. Actual mm-hmm. recording wipers? Actually recorded wipers. You know, can we just ask, I think this is an important technical and incredibly interesting question. How and where did you record windshield wipers on a car well so you have this little recorder thing that you have here so something similar to that yes i walked outside to my car zoom right here or at home it was at home i was at At home home. in my in my driveway in a a driveway or in a garage in in my garage so there's a little ambient so we're not even talking fully stage no no no. how do you do that drive the car into the (laughs) fully stage (laughs) drive the car into the fully stage and then i just turned it on turned it on and then i was picturing the same thing like you're crawling around in your backyard getting the crickets you're quiet quiet everyone (laughs) That was my iPhone. I did that with my iPhone. Isn't that great? Yeah. So you could do that. You know, sometimes, sometimes you want a better recording than on your iPhone, but not all the time do you need a better recording on your iPhone. Yeah. Yeah, You could treat it and 